I know, right? It's like easy. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Hi, I'm Amy from the vlog Our Amiable Farmhouse. And today I want to share with you a super simple sewing technique a t shirt dress for girls. I like to think of myself as a simple person. Although, um, not really. <laughs> I've had to grow into it. I think I've matured over the years after having four girls and realizing that you can't always do it professional, how, like how you see it on TV. Because girlfriend, you, sometimes you just gotta get it done. <laughs> When I was newly married and had only one daughter, one of my favorite things was to sew little dresses for her. They were so cute and I had dreams of all this frill and lace and bonnets and you know matching hats and bows. And well, those dresses took a long time for me to sew because let's face it, I am not a seamstress. <laughs> I pore over the instructions I don't know what they're saying and I'm looking up definitions and I'm like, honey, do you know how to do this? And cut out a million pieces and then pin them all together and reread the instructions for the 237th time because I have no brain cells left after having four children. Or is that just me? Anybody? <laughs> so I've learned that simple is best and leave the elaborate stuff for the professionals or when I become a grandma and have lots more time. <laughs> I love this simple dress pattern because it's not a pattern. I just take a t-shirt from my daughter's drawer that fits her nicely and then I place it on some material, cut around it, sew it together. It's literally the fastest thing I've ever made. Well, okay, not literally, <laughs> but it's pretty close to the fastest thing I've ever sewn besides cutting some rags and sewing the edges. I've taken microfiber cloths. They're really kind of large and I wanted to cut it down to make a better dishcloth and sew the edges. And that's like probably the fastest thing I've ever sewn. That's not really sewing. It's kind of just finishing off an edge so that it doesn't unravel but um, yeah, I, I think this is the next fastest thing. It took me less than 45 minutes and that was with interruptions. So if you do this at night when all the kids are in bed and you're uninterrupted, you could probably knock it out in 20 or 30 minutes. Probably my most favorite part of this project is picking out the fabric. There are so many different colors and patterns I just like to take my Joanne coupons and go down there to the store and pick out some fun cotton jersey knit. And you better believe I'm always using a coupon because if I can make a dress for five or six dollars, I'm gonna do it. So follow along with me today and I'll show you how I did it. The first thing I did was take a measurement of my daughter's length so I knew how long to make the dress. I took a t-shirt that fit my daughter well and folded it in half, lining up the shoulders, and then laid the t-shirt on the fabric, lining up the folds. I then cut the desired length of the dress. When cutting the fabric around the t-shirt, be sure to angle towards the bottom of the dress. I cut around, allowing for a half inch seam allowance. This cut is the back side of the dress. Then I refolded my material to make room to cut out the next piece, which will be the front. Refold your t-shirt so that the front sides are facing. Then line up the t-shirt on your material with the folded edges lined up together. Repeat the same process to cut out the front side of the dress. I 
I cut a deeper neckline for the front of the dress. On the front piece, I measured the neckline, multiplied it by two. And then I did the same for the back piece. I then took the sum of those two measurements and cut that out of the leftover piece of material I had by about three inches wide. This piece of fabric will be sewn to the neckline of the dress to give it a nice finished look. With wrong sides together, iron the neckband flat. Now we get to assemble the dress. Simply line up the shoulders and we will seam one shoulder first. Now that you've stitched the first shoulder seam, take the piece of fabric for the neckband, line up the raw edges to the neck of the dress, and stitch. Now iron the neckband seam flat. Now sew the other shoulder seam. And then we're going to finish off the raw edge of the sleeves. To do this, I just simply roll under the raw edge a few times to hide the edge. You could iron this flat if you want to, but because the sleeves are so short, I'm just simply doing a quick little roll under. Once you've finished the sleeves, line up the sides of the dress and stitch. To hem the bottom of the dress, I simply ironed under the edge half an inch and then again another half inch to hide the raw edge and stitch to close. If you liked what you saw today, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time I post a new video. If you're new to my channel, I bring a new video each week on simple food, simple living, simply handmade. Thanks so much for stopping by our amiable farmhouse. See you next time. So did you like the dress that I made you? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. Super cute, right? Yes. I know. <laughs> I love it. You want to come say hi? Do you like your dress? Mm -hmm. Fits nicely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Real talkative. <laughs>